Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Back up here we are going to get more acorns for Nabnut. And the first one is going to be down here at the end of this wooden beam thing. And after killing this guy, because he will only be a nuisance, we have to go down this very steep ramp to another one. And we now have five, but we need six, and we have gotten all of them in the area. So we're going to go into Nabnut's house, because I have a feeling that there's one in here, and of course there is. There's also some notes for us to get, and a caterpillar. And we now have all ten caterpillars, and if I can get up onto this shelf, we will get three more notes, and the last acorn. And we will not go give Nabnut all of his acorns, and then we will go give the caterpillars to Irie, and then we will get moving towards winter, because I think we are almost done with fall. And... Nabnut's all happy, and he gives us a jiggy, which of course Banjo dances over, and he runs back into his house. So, now that that is done, we are going to come down here, and be very afraid of that bird, and then die, and then die again, and I have no idea what's going on. We're just going to jump this way, and just ignore him. And we're going to jump to this one. It's nice to know the timing on those birds. Here's the winter switch, and we can now enter the winter door. Uh, winter's probably actually my favorite season in the game. Definitely not in real life, but in the game. We have some notes up here around Eerie's nest, and I'm going to grab those quick before we give him caterpillars. And we actually get an extra caterpillar right behind him. And after getting those notes, we will then throw 10 caterpillars into his mouth. And this will take an annoying long amount of time, as we still have 5 to go. And I don't get to control this, so we just have to sit here and watch it. And one more. And he now grows larger yet again. And he will go back to sleep yet again. And he says he will soon be a big bird, and he has to sleep first, so he goes back to sleep again, and we are going to keep moving up the tree, which now there have been so many additions to these boards, it's pretty hard to fall. Not impossible, but it's much more difficult now than it was in spring. And once we get up to the top, not only will there be an extra caterpillar, in case you didn't make them all in time, there will be a mumbo token that we don't need to get, and I only have two gold feathers, so I'm not going to waste them for it. And in here, we are going to find nothing once again. There's also nothing up here in fall. And this time, there's not even an extra life. So, after getting hit by that vine, we are going to leave. And I think that we are almost done for fall we have to go to mumbo's quick and get a few things as the bumblebee but other than that we are done with fall and i'm actually just gonna follow this back around to mumbo's and it should be right below me or a little bit farther actually but anyway, we will just get a couple things with the bee, and then we will get to winter, hopefully not long after um, this video gets started, although we are a third of the way through the video. Winter will definitely take a, an extra video, and hopefully we will actually finish the level by the time of the end of that video. I can say it now, it's going to be official, this LP is going to be over 30 videos, because this is video 27, and I know for a fact there's going to be more than 3 videos between now and the end, especially with the number of cutscenes that we have coming up towards the end, and we have now arrived at Mumbo's, we are going to enter, and become the Bumblebee 
get our jiggy on top of the flower and I'm actually going to go through and check a few of those plants extra and he says that we can't change into a bee so we can't get that jiggy but guess what we can get it in winter so we don't actually have to do anything with the bee because we can't be the bee Mumbo is cleaning leaves. That's right, you can't be a bee in fall. And in fact, to prevent you from being a bee in fall at all, if I were to be the bee in, say, spring, leave the spring door and then go to fall, I won't make it. I will be transformed back into Banjo about halfway through the hub room. So, you cannot cheat like that. The game has outsmarted you. We can't actually get up there as Banjo, so... We have to wait until winter when that plant will die and the jiggy will fall. And we are going to go there now as quickly as possible so we can get as much of winter done as possible. And in case you guys hadn't already guessed, the snowmen make a return in winter. Yes, the annoying snowmen that will throw things at us when we fly. And we can do much similar to what we did in Freeze Easy Peak and kill them all and we will get stuff from it but first we have to get to winter we are still in fall after all until we leave and enter the hub winter is the last season we are almost done with click clock wood it is definitely an enormous level very long i'm just going to ignore these two ice blocks because all they're going to give me is uh each each of the two little ones will give me honeycombs but i don't need it so this is winter there's not much to it all the plants that do the clapping thing are dead leaving things just open for you a lot of the snow piles you have to use talent shot to traverse there's nothing around the bottom of the tree the water is iced over there's a rumble token back here and there's actually a place where you can enter the water but you can't surface for air, so you have to be very, very quick about it. Here is our dead tree, giving us a mumbo token, and not the jiggy. I thought it did give us the jiggy. I don't know how to get the jiggy in fall, though, but I will get it. I will figure it out, and since it will probably take an extra video, we will probably start the next one with it. Um, we do actually have to go under here to visit Naughty, but I'm actually just going to get air back quickly so that I can get a full set for our trip. Um, yes, we do have to go visit Naughty, and we cannot surface for air, so we have to be very quick about it, and I didn't actually get my air refilled, so very quickly I have to go back before I die, which I really don't want to do, and so back up here... Now that it is refilled, we will be on our way to Naughty's. Sorry for wasting a good amount of time there. Um, other than that, it's a pretty long swim. If you can actually swim all the way back, there's an extra life to grab, but I'm not going to bother with it because I don't need it. The best strategy, though, would be go swim it and then surface up in here and then don't do... or then go back so that you get fresh air each time. And Naughty says he usually doesn't get visitors in winter. I'm pretty sure there is an empty honeycomb in here. Yes, there is an empty honeycomb. We are still missing the other one, and I can't recall whether or not it's in winter or not, but I will show it on screen when I do remember. But we must quickly swim back to the exit of the water, and then we will continue left around the tree. Yes, there is a few things in Click Clock Wood. I do not understand where everything is, so I do apologize for that. But I haven't played this level in a long time. And either way, I will eventually show it to you guys. No harm, no foul. There's the first of the snowmen. There's another giant ice cube. If we go over to Mumbo's, we still can't... I don't think we can get through this. It'll still hurt us. I think if we walk out into the center of it, there's now a flight pad here. And we're not going to go to Mumbo's yet, but we are going to use this flight pad, and we are going to take it up, and we are going to attempt to get rid of these snowmen before um, I do anything else. That one leaves a Mumbo token. Like I said, we do not need Mumbo tokens anymore. Um, 
this one. I don't know what he leaves. Not quite sure. And I'm not going to get his dive bomb this time around. So I'm going to have to circle back. There are obviously an excess of Mumbo tokens all over this level as you've seen. There's already been like three that we're not going to get. And let's see. Can we get him now? And we can. And he doesn't leave anything more than an extra life. Yes, in winter, winter is the only season where we can fly, and there are actually flight pads abound. The grunty switch is right there, but I would like to kill this snowman before I attempt to land there. And then we will grab it. Uh, yeah, I don't like the dive bombing mechanic very much. It's not very accurate, but there we go, he is dead. And I'm going to go get this grunty switch because, like I said, there are flight pads abound, and we can get up in the air relatively quickly and this will reveal a G all the way up there how we are supposed to get to it we will find out later but we are going to drop down here realize that that was a bad idea kind of fall into the snow and then slide all the way down there is a hive here and I don't really need the life so I'm not gonna bother with it there's a plant here and it has moved off the flight pad as you can see and it leaves behind a golden feather, but we aren't going to bother with it. Let's see if I can get this guy quick, and I can. Up higher, there is going to be the bees hive, which is now broken, and all it has is a mumbo token that I will grab when we walk up here. Eerie is a full large um, eagle now, and we are going to talk to him quickly. And he says, watch him as he flies into the sky. And as he does fly into the sky, he will leave behind him a Jiggy. And there we go. We are going to get a Jiggy for basically raising him his entire life. And now that we have landed, we are going to do some things around this part of the tree. There are notes to be had up here. And I think they're actually some of the last notes of the game. Uh, there might be actually a few more somewhere else around winter. But once we hit 100 on this level, we've gotten all the notes in the game. And we are still missing a few, but they're probably on the way up. In here, the inside of the tree is still looking all green and nice. And once again, we have made it to the top, but there's not anything here for us. So yes, really, you only have to come through the door in spring. But there are things on the way up here. Like I said, there's also ginger up here in spring. There's notes up here in winter, etc., etc. It's always worth the visit. There's a snowman down there you can see that we will have to knock out. There's a snowman over there we will have to knock out. There are no birds in this level coming out of the tree. Um, I almost fell there though. And if we break Nabnut's window, which is the only way we can get into his house in winter, we will come in here and he will be sleeping. And I don't think there's anything in here for us really. There's feathers and eggs and a golden feather, but not much else. I'm going to grab that golden feather though, because we are running low. And back out his window. We are also running a bit low on time, so probably won't get all that much more done. Uh, I don't think there's anything up here. No, there isn't. Uh, I don't believe there's anything up in here. There might be a mumbo token as long as we have just a slight amount of time. Not enough to do anything with. We will go check. I don't believe there is though. No, there isn't. There's just eggs. Although there was a time when I needed eggs. I do not anymore. But we are running just a bit low on time, so I will get us over to the house, and then I will cut the video. Because we will be out of time, and there is other things to do. Anyway, there is nothing over at the house, it is all boarded up. There is this guy though, and he's going to just walk into us, and then ignore us. And if we can get out of here without him hitting us, which we can't, in the last few seconds, I'm going to blast up by the door and we're going to end the video up here. There is a hive, and that is it. Thank you guys for watching.